This is the checkers game where grandson and granddad will bond. And skip. Okay. So, a verb is an action word, a doing word. Yes, Gwen, real quick before we start. That angry cat um, that we saw, that's my dad when he has a wet sock. Okay, good to know. Word. If you can do it, Whoops. if you do it, it's a bird. It. Listen up close, here's what we'll do. I'll say a verb. Let me rewind that again because I hit it by accident. There we go. A verb is a word, it's an actual word. If you can do it, then you do it. If you do it, it's a verb. A verb is a word, it's an actual word. If you can do it, then you do it. If you do it, it's a verb. Listen up close, here's what we'll do. I'll say a verb and you say it too. Now when we're playing, when you say it, I want you to do it too. All right, now everybody, get ready. Because the first verb we're gonna do is clap. Here we go. Clap, 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 Some compound words. 
Let me see if I can get our compound words. And then I'll show you what we're going to do. about what you add to that dish. Zatarans, yummos. Okay, then I'll show you what we're going to do with our verbs and our compound words in sea salt. Let me zoom this down a little bit. I think there's one more of these picture games that we can do. Let me see if it's like the same one. Mm, nope, okay. I thought there was one more, but we'll do this one right here. Hey guys, what's up? So All right, I, let me pause her for a second. Okay, so compound words are two small words put together to make one big word, like we were doing this morning with our morning work. Each word is made up, made up of two smaller words that you can have by themselves, and they still mean something all by themselves. So give me a second to skip her Let's commercial right here. Generation Genius. And they cover and all the And we'll skip you. Goodbye. And follow kids. Welcome back to... Oh, let me see if I can make it nice and big. There we go. We're going to see compound words. When two or more words joined together to give a new meaning. It's called compound word. So when two or more words are joined together to give a new meaning, it is called a compound word. Rain plus bow. Rain. Oops, I was going to pause it before she gave it to us. If I have rain plus bow, obviously it gives me what? Rainbow. Rainbow, right, very good. Rain plus coat. There we go. Rain plus coat would give me what compound word, Alina? Raincoat. Raincoat. Sun plus flower. Sun plus flower <laughs> is going to give me what, Jamie? Sunflower. <laughs> Look at that little flower all flat on the ground. So funny. Maybe, oh, there he goes. Happy little flower. C plus horse. C plus horse. Rosemary, what do you got? Let's see. Seahorse. Seahorse. Butter plus fly. Butter plus fly makes what, Jake? Butterfly. Butterfly. Nosepin. Nosepin? I would not have guessed that one. Ear plus ring. What does ear plus ring give me, Yanessa? Fine, Kaden. Thank you, Yanessa. Good job. Flower plus pot. Flower plus pot gives me what, Logan? Flower pot. Flower pot. Door plus bed. Door plus bell gives me what, Zayden? Doorbell. Doorbell. I'll do two more. Star plus fish. Star plus fish gives me what, Mallory? Starfish. Starfish. We'll do one more. Jelly plus fish. Ooh, jelly plus fish. Fish. I want that jelly. Jelly. Jelly plus fish, Angelina, gives me what? Jelly. Jellyfish, right. Jellyfish. All right. Awesome sauce. Okay. So, compound words are two small words put together to make one big word. Now, let me show you what we're going to be doing in Seesaw this morning. There's a couple of different activities that I want you to work on. Let me bring it up for us here. Oh, there's our pledge. Let me turn that into our Seesaw here. Remember when you go into Seesaw, if you want to find today's activities quickly, you can tap on the activities bubble, whoops, right here, and you can go into the calendar to find today's activities, just like that. Here is today, it will always be highlighted, the circle will always be a different color, and I'm going to scroll down to show you what your activities are for this morning. Remember, we're going to be doing some reading eggs and reading egg express. One of the things that I have you doing this morning is a noun and verb sort. When you go into the activity, tap add response. Hello, I'm Sample. We're going to listen to the instructions so it can tell us what we need to do. 
Noun and verb sort. Today we are going to practice sorting nouns and verbs. A noun is a word that names a person, place, thing, or animal. A verb is a word that names an action. To begin, tap add response. Read each word at the bottom of the activity to yourself. Think if the word is a noun or if it is a verb. Move the word to the correct side of the page. Use the microphone to record yourself reading the words on each side. Tap the green check when you are done. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do when you open it up is you're going to see the word down at the bottom. You're going to read those words to yourself. You're going to think, is this word a noun, which means a person, place, or thing, or animal? Or is this word a verb? It's an action or a doing word. Then you're going to move the words, click on the hand, move the words over to where you think they need to go, whether they're on the noun side or the verb side. Before you can tap the green check, though, what's the very last step that I want you to do? What is the very last step, Logan, that I want you to do? Yes, I do want you to tap the microphone and record yourself reading the words on both the noun and the verb side. Then you'll tap that green check. Any questions on this activity before I show you the compound word one? Yes, Blake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine words. And I don't know if, obviously, it's not going to be the same number on each side because it's an odd number, so there's going to be one side has more than the other. Okay? And I don't know. I can't tell you how many are nouns and how many are verbs. I could look at it, but I won't. All right. Now, the other activity that you're going to do this morning is compound word writing. Tapping add response. Hello, I'm a sample. And let's go into the instructions on this one. Compound word writing. Today you're going to write some compound words. A compound word is a word that is made up of two smaller words put together. First, tap add response. Look at each picture. Say the name of the picture quietly to yourself. Use the pencil, pen, or label tool to write the name of each picture. Put the first small word in the compound word on the first line and the second small word in the compound word on the second line. When you are finished writing the words, use the microphone to record yourself reading the words. Tap the green check when you are done. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. You're going to actually be writing the words to make the compound word. Am I worried about spelling right now? No, not necessarily. I think you could probably sound out most of the sounds that you need to have to spell the two words. What do I want you to use to write the words on the line, Kaden? Right. Either use the pencil or pen down at the bottom or use the label tool if you would like to type it. Put the first part of the compound word on one side, the first word that makes up the compound word on the one side, put the second word that makes up the compound word on the other side. So, for example, if this was a doghouse, it's not a doghouse, but if it was a doghouse, you would write dog house to make the compound word. Before you can tap the green check on this one, Jamie, what do you need to do? You've written the words. Now what do you need to do before you can tap the green check? Nice and loud, Jamie. Yeah, use that microphone to record yourself reading the words. Okay? Any questions on this one? Yes, no, maybe so? All right, now one last activity today. We do have what we call the skills and context test. Every once in a while they put these in our weekly tests that go along with our stories. And these are not ones that need to be, Landon, I need you to stay muted unless I'm asking you a question, please. Thank you. These are not ones that need to be um, practiced in any way. They're just a cold read. So when you go into the story, into the test items, Remember, I have recorded things. If you tap on the caption, I've recorded questions. But some of these are a little bit longer. So I've recorded each paragraph on the page, too. So you can listen to the sound recordings to listen to the paragraphs being read out loud. I have those on here because some of these questions, there's two pages of the story talking about firefighters. Some of the questions go back and ask you, what is this paragraph mostly about? 
And so I've put it here, but I have also put it on the on the beginning of the test if you wanted to go back and listen to it there too, okay? So remember, if you tap the caption, you hear the question and answer choices read out loud. Use the pencil or pen to fill in the color or fill in the circle next to the answer choice that you choose, okay? Questions on this one? When? Because it is, because I have two pages of story at the very beginning, it's going to have 12 slides because question, the last question, number 10, would actually be on 12, number 12 slide, okay? So it is a little bit longer because there's some pages at the beginning with the story in it. Listen to the story pages first before you try to answer the question. When? Um, should we do the test first? Doesn't matter to me which order you do these three activities. These three activities just need to be done during language arts time today. And then we will do reading eggs, or if you're in reading express, you'll do reading express. Any other questions? Yes, no, maybe so? Okay. Friends at home, I'm going to let you go. Go ahead and go into Seesaw, and I'll see you later this morning for math. Bye. Bye. All right, we are going to go ahead and get our iPads out. So, Jamie, your iPad is back there. Probably is charged enough right now that you can use it for language arts. Take it, sit it back at your desk.